I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Monday morning, the 18th of March, 2024, and this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Isaiah, chapter 50, and I'm reading verse 4. The Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak. And then we go straight to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, and I'm reading verse 19. Jesus says, But when they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak, for it will be given to you in that hour what you should speak. Maybe this morning you are facing a a week where you have to give a report to the management in your company. Maybe you have to give a speech at school or at university, and you are very nervous about it. That is quite understandable. I know exactly how you feel. But the Lord says in Psalm 81 and verse 10, Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. Many times when I have to stand on a platform in front of thousands of people, I can be quite honest with you, I hit a blank, I get nervous, I'm not sure what to say, I look out and I see desperate souls looking for answers. I don't have them, but Jesus does. It's at that time I normally get on my knees. If you know me well, you have seen it. And then I pray the prayer that I'm encouraging you to pray before you have to speak to that management meeting or that school assembly. This is what you will say. It's found in Psalm 19 and verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. You see, as soon as you pray that prayer, the emphasis is now on the Lord and not the crowds that are standing before you. And often I've felt that I'm standing next to myself, and I'm hearing the words of the Lord speaking, and it's not me. It's a weird feeling, and I'm not into positive thinking or anything like that. I really believe it is the Holy Spirit. Robert Murray McShane, a young Scotsman who died at the age of 29 years old, was responsible for starting a massive revival in Dundee, Scotland. And he quoted and he said, Rather than have been an instrument of the Lord, all I was was an adoring spectator. Jesus bless you and goodbye.